a lot. So I jumped into the water. I was swimming. Everything was fine. And out of the sudden, something come under the water like uh, it was a riptide. And I didn't know what a riptide was. So I started fighting with this thing under the water and started pulling me inside of the ocean. So it, it was like a tornado under the water. And I was fighting, fighting, fighting. And then out of the blue, I was far, far, far away into the ocean. I don't know if you guys saw the movie Finding Nemo. That is a uh, current on the movie that bring all the fishes out of the island, going to the ocean, like in a tunnel. That was happening to me. So when I get up my head out of the water, the island was far, far away. And I was like, how in the world I get here? Okay, I need to swim back and I'm going to panic. So I start swimming and swimming and swimming. And after 10, 15 minutes, it's like, what's going on? So every time that I pulled my head out of the water, I was farther and farther and farther away. And I was like, what's going on? What's going on? So I jumped to the water, trying to swim again. I pulled my head farther and farther. And after 20, 25 minutes, almost 30, I said, you know what? This is it. I don't know what's going on right here, but I think this is it for me. I'm far away from the island. It was like, a, I don't know, half a mile away from the island. Nobody's going to see me here. It's the time that the boat is going to leave the island. And this is it. So I'm just going to say my last word. So in that moment, I said, okay, God, I just want to say, before I leave, I want to say thank you. Thank you for my mom, my dad, my brothers, my sisters. Thank you for everything you gave me. And I'm sorry if I did something wrong. In that moment, I heard a voice behind me that said, ask for help. And I was like, what? So I look everywhere and I just hear the water and I hear the, the wind and I don't see anyone. It's like, well, this is my imagination. Then I heard for a second time, ask for help. And I look back and said, are you kidding me? Are you here? Like, who is, who are you? Like, could you please help me? And I don't see anyone. And I was like, well, so I'm going to swim again. So I started swimming again. And then I heard for the third time, I told you to ask for help. And I was like, oh, my God, there is no way that I'm going to get out of here. But OK, so I'm going to start screaming. So I started screaming, help, help, help. At the end of the island, one of my friends came out of the group because he felt something was wrong. So he went to the tent. He didn't saw me there. He walked all around the, the shore where we were and he didn't saw me around there. So he went to a top of a hill. When he went to the top of a hill, he saw me from there and he started jumping, Carlos, Carlos, I'm going to call 911. Please hold on, hold on. But he didn't call 911. He'd run back to the tent. He grabbed some tubings, go back to the top of the hill and he started dropping the tubings from the top of the hill. And guess what? The wind was blowing his through his face. So all the, the tubings was flying back to him. I was like, oh my God, this is not working. Hold on, Carlos, hold on, I'm going to call 911. So he go back down of the hill and he go to the other side of the island. It wasn't too far. And bring people that was boarding the boats going back to Panama City. So like a lot of people come, six guys get to the top of the hill and jump from the rocks and everybody starts swimming my way. Everybody was trying to rescue me. And when I see that, I said, oh my God, thank you so much. Because at that point, I started getting cramps on my arms, on my legs. And it was really hurtful for me to be there in the water. So when I see all these people coming, like, thank you, thank you. Well, guess what? 10 minutes pass, and out of the sudden, I see everybody turning around. And I was like, where are they going? Where are they going? And then I heard a thunder. And I, when I look behind me, I see a lightning on the water. And I hear, like, this big, huge thunderstorm is coming behind me. The sky is turning black and turning really bad. And at that moment, I said, you know what, God? I don't want to fight anymore. From this moment, I'm just going to surrender. And uh, I just want to make a pause here because every time that I'm telling my story, I ask and I tell people how many times in your life you are fighting with divorce, with your partner at school, at work, or anything that life throws at you. And the only thing that you need to do is surrender. And that's what I did in that moment. I surrendered. And I said, from this moment, God, whatever you want. And in that moment, a huge wave came and crushed me all the way under the water. When I was under the water, I opened my eyes and I see far, far away, a big black shadow that's coming my way. And I say, oh my God, I charge. So I cover my eyes. I said, it's going to bite me. It's going to eat me. So I put my faces, my hands on my face. I thought, ah, just waiting for the moment. And then this thing come through 
to me, grabbed me by my stomach and pushed me all the way up. When he pulled me all the way up, I opened my eyes when I get out and I look and I couldn't believe it. It was a huge dolphin. This was like a greatish dolphin, huge. So I grabbed the dolphin by the tail and I started crying. I couldn't believe that this happened to me with a dolphin. I never touch a dolphin. I never see a dolphin doing that. So I didn't know what was going on. So I started crying like, wow, this is amazing. Well, guess what? I stayed there with the dolphin. The dolphin didn't move. 10 minutes later, a feature boat show up in front of me and he said, son, I can save you, but I cannot get close to you because the wave, they are so big that I'm going to hit you if I get close to you. So you better grab this. So he threw me a rope. As soon as he threw me a rope, I go to the boat. And when I get to the boat, I just hold the rope and I get air. Like, and when I do this, the guy started screaming and he's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? So I like, sir. I'm tired. I've been here for a long time. And he said, like, no, you need to get in right now. I said, like, what? What happened? I said, well, my boat is sinking. I said, your boat is sinking. What's going on? I said, well, I have a pump and the pump is stopped and all the waves, they're getting inside of my boat. So the whole boat is, is floating with water. So you better hurry up, go to the back. There are some steps in the water and jump inside of the boat. So, okay, okay, okay. So I go to the back. The dolphin is still next to me. I see the steps, I jump inside of the boat and the water was like this. I said, oh my God, sir, this is too much water. Do you have any bucket to take the water out? I said, no, I don't have any bucket. Uh, we don't have time to take the water out. Just sit down next to me. So I sit, sit down next to him. He put me a towel over me. And then he started asking me questions. I said, are you okay? I said, yes, sir, I'm fine. What happened to you? I said, well, a riptide brought me all the way here. It was like a huge whirlpool under the water and throw me all the way here and I couldn't come back. I said, okay, where's your family and your friends? Everybody's there. Uh, let me ask you another question. Where are you from? I said, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. What about you, sir? I said, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, too. I said, what part? And I said, I'm from Duluth. What about you, sir? I'm from North Cross, Duluth and North Cross in, in front of each other. So I was like, wow, we're neighbors I'm from another state. Wow, this is incredible. And in that moment, he's like, oh, my God, oh, my God, look behind you, look behind you. So I look behind me. He grabbed his phone. He started recording. It. So when I looked behind me, the dolphin was jumping behind our boat and following us all the way around the island. When we arrived to the bay of the island, the guy said, okay, son, I have to leave you right here because I need to fix my boat. But if you want to see me again, every Memorial Day, I'm going to come here to the island. So you will see my boat. In that moment, I said, thank you, sir. God bless you. Thank you for saving my life. I jumped off the boat. The level of the water was a little bit down, so I couldn't walk to the shore. He left. I started walking to the shore, and when I'm walking to the shore, something hit my leg. And when I looked back, the dolphin was behind me, and I was like, what? This dolphin? Oh, my God. So I started crying because I was overwhelmed. I didn't know what was going on. So I started walking, walking, walking. When I get to the, to the bay side, nobody was there because everybody was on the other side trying to get me. And I, in that moment, I go on my knees on the sand and I said I make a promise right there I said you know what God if you save me with this dolphin right here it's because you have a purpose for my life I don't know what do you want from me I should die there but let me tell you something from today Carlos die into the ocean the person who's coming out of the water is going to be you from this moment it's not my life anymore it's going to be your life from this moment whatever you want do it through me it's not my life it's your life and in that moment, it started raining, it started lightning, it started thundering. So I took that as a yes.